Good evening, good evening, good evening, evening, Heart Ministry viewers, amen, on Heart Ministry Network, Facebook, mm. YouTube, Roku Channel, Janico, Janico TV under HMN, and www.heartministrynetwork.com, whichever way that you're seeing us, we greet you in Jesus, with Jesus' joy. That's just the truth anyhow. Mm. With the Weathersby's of South Carolina Ministry. Amen. I'm Pastor Arthur L. Weathersby. I'm Pastor Cheryl Weathersby. Hey, man, we, we just greet you. We just having so much fun, y'all. Uh, it, it is a joy to be able to come and do what we do. So uh, if you see that, 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 that smile and that laughing that we do when we're coming on, that's just because, the, you know, it, it's, we having big fun. Amen, <laughs> amen, amen. amen. This joy I, I have, have, the world didn't <laughs> give it to me. Oh, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. No, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. You know the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Oh, oh, oh. This peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me. No, this peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me. No, this peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me. You know the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. 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 This joy that I have. This can't take, take it, it away. away. Can't, can't take, take it away. away. Can't take it away. Father, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. We give you glory. Hallelujah. This joy that we have. Joy is Jesus. Jesus' joy. This joy we have. The world didn't give it, and the world, we won't let the world take it away. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. we thank you that we got to know who it is that has given us what they have given us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank you, God, that you did not give us the spirit of fear, but you gave us the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. Father, we honor your presence right now. Hallelujah. We honor your power, your anointing. Hallelujah. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you, God, for being our strength like no other. Mm -hmm. We thank you right now, God, for victory, victory, victory. No matter what it is, what is not God, we thank you for being our God, our God, and our guidance. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for being almighty. Hallelujah. For saving, set free, healing, and delivering through your word, oh God. In Jesus' name that you're going to send through us and back to us, oh God. We thank you for Heart Ministry Network. Oh God, continue to bless the hands in the heart and mind of pastors, Ken and Brenda Divers, oh God, thank you for supplying every need according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father, give us a ear even more to hear you and what you're saying that we may not only be a hearer, but a doer of your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. I tell you what, we're, on, we're continuing on in the series, Understanding Fear. Last week, we were just about uh, uh, finishing up with dealing with the negative aspect mm -hmm. of fear, mm -hmm. uh, and then we moved into a positive aspect. Yes. But I tell you what, we're going to revert back to the negative end because I'm, I want to show you something according to what the Holy Spirit is showing, mm -hmm. us, showing us, that the negative aspect of fear, this is what it does. It has a purpose, y'all. Mm -hmm. Not just to have you walking around here all, you know, wound up because of the fear, but you know what it does? It brings you to that place where what? You will seek God. What yes. am I saying? Because that negative aspect of fear shows forth your shows forth our weakness. Yes. That's and the right. word of God says that it's in our weakness that yeah, he's made, he's made strong. strong. So what does that mean? Simply this means that when we come to a place where we don't know what to do, mm -hmm. we, 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 we done, done ran through everything that we think that we have in our abilities and, 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 and yeah, and other people to get her done mm -hmm. and it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. And then we, and then we, you know, find ourselves with our back up against the wall. What do mm -hmm. we do? Mm -hmm. We look to the hills That's right. from where come our help. That's when, that's when, so there, therefore, when we are realized that we're weak within ourselves, mm -hmm. then guess what? God becomes strong 
in us That's right. because we don't make God strong. I think I brought this out some other time before. We don't make God strong. He's God. He's God all by himself. You don't mm -hmm. believe me. You, you go and talk to Job. Amen. But um, yeah, he's God and he's God all by himself. But once our weaknesses man manifest within us, we realize we can't do a thing. So then we start looking. You know how uh, uh, Peter was when he was walking on water and he was uh, 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 followed the command of Jesus and told him to bid me to come. And he came and he was walking on the water, looking at Jesus until he took his eyes off. Jesus started looking at the situations and the circumstances going around him saw the boisterousness of the wind mm -hmm. and he sunk mm -hmm. and the first thing he did the bible says he looked up mm -hmm. to jesus right. and said lord, lord save, save me. me see and it was in his weakness that he got made strong mm -hmm. jesus became strong in him in peter because right. he realized where his help came from that's right it's like you said everything has a purpose yes even the negative even the negative. amen it has a purpose why because romans eight twenty eight Come lets on. us know for we know, for we know, we got, and when you get that word, no, that no means to be intimate, mm -hmm. intimate with a thing, intimate with a person. And we know that all things work together for the good because we love the Lord and we are the called according to his purpose. Everything. And I, and I had to learn this myself and still learning everything we go through, liking it or not, however devastating it is or not, it has a teaching moment. That's right. It's always a teaching moment moment it, why go through something and not understand why we came through it praise god and we are coming through it yeah. amen this too shall pass that's right hallelujah oh yes it will pass praise god hallelujah to the and redound to the glory of god that's and to right. be a, a witness to help someone else that's right that's what fear brings us to it brings us to that place of us realizing that what we thought we knew about a thing and how we could do a, a thing we don't Mm -hmm. And so we're fearful of that thing. And then when we realize that we're fearful of it, then we, we, we can only do but one thing. Mm -hmm. Look to the one that's able to do all things but fail. Mm -hmm. And so the, the fear in its negativity, y'all, mm -hmm. it does bring forth a positive result in yes. us. Amen. Because like my wife say, it's always a teaching moment. So we were back in Psalm 34. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the good fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Explaining mm -hmm. that because not too many people understand what the fear of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. As we were in the scriptures, mm -hmm. amen, we were in that eighth verse, amen, ninth, ninth verse. Mm -hmm. we, was it the ninth verse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the ninth verse. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. From the Amplified mm -hmm. uh, Bible of, of the parallel Bibles that we have. Oh, reverently fear the Lord. You, his saints, believers, holy ones, for to those who fear him, there is no one. Now, see, we don't want to, in the negative, we don't want to fear. Mm -hmm. But in the positive, the word of God says that we need to fear. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, reverently fear the Reverend, Lord. Yeah. This is a command. Right. To who? You, his saints. That's right. It ain't, it ain't to, it ain't to mm -hmm. the non-believer. I, I mm -hmm. said that last week. It ain't to the non-believer. Mm -hmm. It's to the saints, mm -hmm. the believers. Mm -hmm. We need to have reverential fear of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, his saints, believers, holy ones, for to those who fear him, there is no want. Now, see, here's what God is saying. Mm. Here's what God is saying. When you reverentially, reverentially fear me, respect me, give me mm -hmm. my give me my due, then guess what? Psalm 8411, 8411b comes into play for you. For he won't withhold no good thing from you when you walk uprightly before him. And how are you walking uprightly? I'm fearing him. Yes. I got respect for God. Yes. I got reverential yes. respect. Not just, you know how it is sometimes, y'all. Sometimes, some of us, when we're dealing with one another, we don't really respect people in the manner that we should. Mm -hmm. We diminish who they are, and what do we do? Well, you know, the street uh, vernacular for it says you dissing somebody. Mm -hmm. We have a tendency to diss people. But I'm here to tell you, you don't want to diss God. Mm -hmm. Not if you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Why? It won't be good for you. It won't be good. It won't be good for it you. It won't go well with you. It us. will not go well for you mm -hmm. at all. We're in the ninth, 10th verse? Nine. Nine. We did nine? 11. 11. Did 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is Psalm 34, 11, y'all. Come, you children, mm -hmm. listen to me. I will teach you to fear the Lord with all, all inspired reverence. And worship him with obedience. Now, I like that. Be taught. I that's like right. that. That's right. That, that's right. Now, I like that. Mm -hmm. So, where does this teaching come from? I'll tell you what. I like that. Let us go into Proverbs. Mm -hmm. 
And I may go to third chapter. I may go to third chapter of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. I may. Uh, I'm I'm in Proverbs. I know I'm in, I know I'm, I know I'm going to be in Proverbs. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to be in Proverbs. And Proverbs three, my son, do not forget yeah, my let, teaching. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Let me have. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. My son, mm -hmm. do not forget my teaching, mm -hmm. but let your heart keep my commandments. First two say, for length of mm -hmm. days and years of life worth living and tranquility and prosperity, the wholeness of life's blessings, they will be added. They will add to you. My, my. Now, now watch this. Let's go to Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. First verse. Mm -hmm. Hear, O children, the instruction of a father and pay attention and watch this and be willing to learn so that you may gain understanding mm -hmm. and intelligent discernment. Watch what verse 2 says. My, my. For I give you good, good doctrine. Good teaching. Do not turn away from my instruction. My, my. That's important. That's so important. That's how you learn fear. Mm -hmm. Reverential fear of God. Mm -hmm. Parents in, in, in the Lord. Uh, uh, parents, parents, uh, uh, parents, uh, uh, godly parents. Your responsibility is to do what? Train mm -hmm. up that child. And, and, and matter of fact, it says in the fear and admonition of the Lord. That's right. That's Remember right. your fear. That's I right. didn't go to that scripture, but that's what it mm -hmm. said. Train up the child. Train him up. That's the responsibility that you have as a parent. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Well, too many times, in the old modern day time, 21st century, we're teaching kids all kinds of stuff. Parents are instructing them. Matter of fact, they're allowing the kids to instruct themselves. Help me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You have, my, my God, too much, too much. Of, this is a word. This is a word. This is a word from the Lord. This is something that God is saying right now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, stop allowing your children to teach themselves. Yeah. Stop! You stop allowing your children to have access to all these devices um, that allow them to gain understanding and knowledge from those devices, mm -hmm. and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a mother and a father, and as as parents that are of godly parents. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be training that child up. That's right. Don't expect it to come from nowhere else. Don't look to the schools to do it. They right. that's not their responsibility. Mm -hmm. They don't. They're not responsible for teaching you the fear and admonition of the Lord. That's right. That ain't the school responsibility. The teacher in the school, that's the parents' responsibility. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Amen. My God. Okay. And where we at? Verse. Where we at? Verse eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Verse eleven. Uh huh. Uh, and I will teach. Come, you children, listen to me. And I will teach you to fear the Lord with all inspired reverence and worship Him with obedience. Amen. Well, we did that. Right. And you Amen. just finished Proverbs four. And one. Yeah. Um, instruction. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He owes, he owes children. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The instruction of a father. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Be willing to learn so that you may gain understanding and tell them. That's right. And I, I did verse two. Yes. I give you good doctrine. Do not turn away from my instruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's important. I'll tell you what. You you hold that thought right there. We're going to take a break. We're going to be right back. That's Amen. just the truth anyhow with the Weathersby's of Sound the Alarm Ministries brought to you by Heart Ministry Network. We'll be right back Amen. after this commercial I break. Bless you. Pastor Arthur Weathersby. And I'm Pastor Sherry Weathersby. You know, we are, that's just the truth anyhow, with the Weathersby's of Sound the Alarm Ministry, seen here on Heart Ministry Network. And you know, we're seen on uh, Facebook Live and uh, YouTube Live and YouTube, or I don't know if you want to call it live, the Roku Channel and Janico TV. We, we're, we air when? Wednesdays. Wednesdays. I believe at 5.30 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, yes. Amen, amen. We hope that you come and join us and, and continue to watch us and follow us, amen, yes. and, and just let us know how we're doing. Yes, pray amen. for us. Amen. amen. We're back. We're back. As promised, that's just the truth anyhow. Amen. Yeah, we were talking about fear and the good fear that God wants us to have. Amen. Because it's, uh, uh, it's so important, guys, that we maintain, that we gain the understanding of, mm -hmm. of what, what, what fear is, is significant for believers. Amen. Amen. And I pointed out that in a, in a sense, negative fear has had some significance as well. But even more significant is, is, is the fear that the believers are supposed to have for 
the God that we serve. That's right. Amen. Because we're supposed to be in relationship with him. That's and and, right. and if we're supposed to be in relationship with him, the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ told his disciples, if you love me, mm -hmm. you will obey my commandments and follow my instructions. That's right. What will cause us to be able to do what the word of God says? Mm -hmm. That reverential fear. That's right. Which causes us to humble ourselves. As the word of God tells us to humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God. That's right. Amen. We got to we got to be humble and 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 do, do away with the foolish pride. That's right. Amen. Because we don't we don't know as we ought to know, but we can't continue to know if we go on and submit ourselves. You know, um, and like I just said, the fear of the Lord has to be taught. Yes, it does. You know, and then we can catch on to it and have a, a much more better life because we don't want to. We don't want to enter into that wrong fear where it becomes torment. That's right. Because that torment thing is like, who's around the corner? If I go out the house, I mean, I've been there, done that. Or maybe all of us have. and But we don't want to live in torment. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just every little thing. You know, if I go out here and, and corona, if I breathe, I'm going to get it. If I, you know, just paranoid. Right. You know, that's not the way God wants us to live because he said in 1 John 4, 18, there's no fear in love. Mm -hmm. That's that, that for perfect love casteth out the wrong fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because fear, that fear has torment. He that fear it is not made perfect in love. So let mm -hmm. me read it in 1 John 4, 18 and amplify it. For there is no fear in love. Dread. Mm -hmm. Dread, we, 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 um, that's another synonym for the word fear, dread. Mm -hmm. Dread does not exist. Amen. That's why 2 Timothy 1, 7 lets us know, for God did not give us. Mm -hmm. You stop right there. For God did not give us. Okay? So once again, we got to know what God has given us and what he hasn't given us. There's no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out wrong fear so mm -hmm. now fear of love for god mm -hmm. amen so now we know what else drives out fear other than us rebuking and binding and whatever walking in the agape love of god drives out fear because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment so so the one who is afraid of god's judgment is not perfected in love has not grown into a sufficient understanding of god's love they go that word again understanding that's real good right there that how god in his word is identifying what fear can do mm -hmm. that when you have the right fear amen which is the reverential fear of god uh it's going to manifest it's going to manifest itself in 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 love mm -hmm. and that love is going to mm -hmm. be the love the love comes forth um, not from the love that we know right. and that we have, that we're very acquainted with. Mm -hmm. We're acquainted with the love of the world mm -hmm. uh, based upon our feelings. In mm -hmm. uh, the Greek, it's called philios. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, based upon the love of our flesh, which is erotica uh, or eros. Uh, we know those loves, but that ain't where God's fear comes in at. The love that God, if that where the fear of, of uh, reverential fear of God, in the, um, where it manifests itself in in a particular love, is God's love, That's right. which is agape in Greek, which is unconditional. That's right. And so when we walk in that unconditional love in our everyday life, not only you know when you know it's convenient, <laughs> we got to walk in agape love all the time. And I, it, uh, it automatically is driving out fear That's without right. even rebuking it. You're rebuking. We rebuke fear by walking in a God's love. That's right. And another thing, uh, um, just in another example I want to throw out there real quick mm -hmm. to show forth how the fear uh, um, and love of, of God will bring forth a certain type of reaction. Go to the story of Job in the second chapter mm -hmm. when he had went through his trials, the first one in, you know, in the first chapter with all his possessions gone minus uh, um, uh, you know his wife she was still with him and then the second one where his health was affected and that was by, based upon God uh, permitting the devil to go at Job to bring those things uh, 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 upon Job the Bible says he sat down after his health had been afflicted his sores all over his over his body from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet he took a potter's tool and started scraping himself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in sac mm -hmm. in the ashes that he had been down, uh, you know, before God already, uh, uh, you know, going before the Lord, mm -hmm. and and then his wife 
who who was watching this, she about had enough, y'all. She says, are you still hold fast to your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? Mama. Job told her, you act like one of them foolish women who don't know the Lord. Shall we not uh, thank him for things that are good and not uh, 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 honor or respect him That's when right. things go bad? That's right. Because what is Job saying? He's still God. That's right. So reverential fear uh, uh, for, for God is not just because of the good things he do for you. You know, the blessing. Because, you know, we don't have no problem. Of, of respecting God when He's blessing us. That's mm -hmm. that's what the devil tried to tell God. That that's why he that's why he couldn't get to Job mm -hmm. because you blessing him. Edge, right? Got a protection around mm -hmm. him, and every time he turn around, you're blessing the works of his hands. Mm -hmm. He said, "But you remove all of that stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get him to curse you to your face." But see, what the devil did not know is that Job, although Job did not have what you and I have, we have direct uh, interaction with God through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because he indwells us. Mm -hmm. Job did not have that. Mm -hmm. He did not have that. In the days of Job, the only way God dealt with or spoke to his, his people was by prophets or through a dream. Mm -hmm. So everybody did not get the word from a prophet and everybody didn't get it through a dream. Right. But Job just believed God in mm -hmm. his heart mm -hmm. and had such a love for God in his heart that God bragged on him. He said that he was blameless and upright, and he skewed all evil. He said there ain't nobody like him on the earth. And that's why it's so important that when we're going through um, the, you know, seemingly negative, and yes, negative things or, or terrifying things, dramatic things in our life, that we maintain our integrity. That's and right. And still declare, you know, not being, maintaining your integrity, staying whole and sound and healthy in mind body, soul, and spirit. Amen. Because he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a what? Sound mind. Sound mind. Keeping our integrity in him and still to put voice to his word. That's right. Even in pain, even in disappointments, even in things that come and are unexpected. Yes, we can do these things. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. He said we can if we trust him for his word and because he said we can do all things through Christ. That's right. It's only through him that we can what still declare, God, I know you're still a healer. God, you didn't give me this. My sickness is trying to bring bring me into some level of fear, God. But your word, it's only to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. When you're acknowledging the God, confess your faults and stuff one to another. You confess it to one another. You confess it to God. He said you'll be healed from that, from that thought. From, from that thing that's trying to get us to fear God? Are you going to do it or are you not? What's going to happen? Oh, yes, we go through those things. Yeah. Yes, but we can do that with the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and a few close friends. Amen. Amen. But one thing about it, we can do it with the Lord. Hallelujah. Going to him, God, I still reverence you. I still honor you. Great are you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. Great in battle, God. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. All those things. That's the love of God. To the to the God of our love, Amen. That's that's banishing that fear. That's right. That wants us to stay in that place of, uh, of the body might be sick, but that fear, the wrong fear, wants to keep our minds sick. That's right. Along with being sick in our body, the devil is a lie. No, we hold a place in God through salvation. That's mighty powerful. Once we grasp, praise God, where we truly live. That's right. That's why Job was able to say later on, and this is the reverential fear that he had of God. Yet though you slay me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will serve that's you. A mighty that's a mighty declaration. Yeah. Yet though you slay me, mm -hmm. I will serve you. Because you. of that reverential fear that yes. he had, that yes. respect, that awe-inspiring respect that he had mm. for God, and the love that he had for God, mm -hmm. he, he says, you know what? It's just like what the Hebrew boys told uh, uh, King mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar mm -hmm. when he was throwing him into the fiery mm -hmm. furnace. He mm -hmm. says, you know that God you serve. <laughs> Is he able? Yeah, you know how some people can get. They're mm -hmm. so arrogant. And, and Nebuchadnezzar was an arrogant king. You read on later on in a couple of chapters, God had to straighten him out too. He deals with not only the believers, but the non-believers too. So he, so Nebuchadnezzar, he said, that God you serve. Is he able to deliver you out of my hands? The Hebrew boy is saying, you know, Hallelujah. you know, you know, oh king, we ain't quick to answer you on this. We know that our God is able. And if, but if he don't, we're not going to bow down and serve you.
Because we know he's able to deliver you yeah. out of your hands. And we ain't, we ain't trying And we to, know that he will. That's right. And we ain't trying to be careful to answer you. Oh, no. No, no. But if we he are, don't. We already know. We don't, we don't, we don't, we've come to a resolve about this that's thing. That's right. But if he don't, we ain't mm -hmm. going to bow down and serve mm -hmm. you. So what is they saying? They, they, they were really saying that, you know what, King, we know we're coming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. One way or another, we know we're coming out of this. Mm -hmm. How God delivers us is how he delivers us. Mm -hmm. they, we're not going to put no uh, uh, handle on God and tell him, God, you got to deliver me this. Oh, my God. How, how many of y'all, when y'all be going in prayer, uh, 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 you speaking to God, you petitioning God, you trying to tell God to you want to be brought out of this thing this way. Mm -hmm. You know what? You better follow what James says in the epistle of James. If the Lord wills. Amen. Because we don't have that authority. It's if the Lord wills. Mm -hmm. So that would be the best thing to say. And God will, if according, if it's according to his will, he will do according to his will. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, so they're saying, we don't care. We don't, we're not worried about that. Mm -hmm. Because the love that we have for him, yeah. we ain't bound down. That's right. We'll throw us in the fire. That's right. And why do I know? Why, do, why, why am I doing that? Because I have that reverential fear for God. I know this. If God be for me, mm -hmm. who can be against me? That's right. And he was right in the midst of it. Right in the midst of it. Right in the midst And then mist. guess what? No weapons formed against me shall prosper. In that fiery furnace, the fire turned up seven times than what it normally should have been. It consumed the men that tried to put them boys in there. But when the boys came out, them, them uh, Chaldeans... They got around to see, cause you know how people are. They they don't become to see how you how you how well you are. They come to see how bad you are. They didn't they didn't see no they didn't see nothing burnt. The clothes weren't burnt. The hair wasn't no singed. No smell of smoke. No smell of smoke on them. So they were disappointed. <laughs> that's a mighty God. But that's God. That's God being being greater than 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 the other gods. You know, greater is He that's in you than He that's in this world. And because you have that reverential fear of God, mm -hmm. the Bible says that. Uh, yea, do I walk in Psalm mm -hmm. 20, 23, 4. Mm -hmm. Yea, do I walk. Oh, my God. Watch this. Yea, do I walk through the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Yea, do I walk through the valley. I tell you what. You hold that thought right my, there. We're going to pick my, this up it. next week. That's just the truth anyhow. With the weather speeds of sound, the alarm ministries. You know what? You're living your good. You're living your best life. When you're living your life in Jesus Christ. Pastor Arthur Weathersby. Pastor Cheryl Weathersby. Till we come back next week. We, we do, do the, the thing. thing. In the, the Lord. Lord. God, God bless you. Bye-bye.